Hello and welcome to an extra little video um, added on to the 2.4 um, update video. Uh, this is a video specifically about MindTweaker support. Um, so for those who don't know what MindTweaker is, uh, MindTweaker is basically a mod that allows you to sort of add like custom recipes and remove recipes from the game. Um, it's very useful for mod pack makers to like sort of you know change the way players progress through their mod packs. Um, a lot of mods add like MindTweaker support to their own machines, and so um, that's what this video is all about. Um, in the latest Nuclear Craft update, you can actually modify um, the machines and the generator recipes um, through the use of MindTweaker mind tweaker scripts. If you don't know what mind tweaker is, I highly recommend if you want to use it at least heading over to the wiki first, um, and that will tell you basically all about how to actually use mind tweaker. I don't actually know much about mind tweaker myself, um, but I know a little bit and I know enough to basically show you how it works. So this video is specifically about nuclear craft support. If you want to know about um, mind tweaker in general, I'd head over to the mind, mind tweaker wiki um, t first before you look at this video. Um, so anyway, yeah, so. The way Mind Tweaker works, of course, is you use scripts. Um, I've got this script open right here. I've got a lot of commented out um, stuff here, which I can just copy and paste because it's got the structure of the um, commands that I'm going to need to add and remove recipes. If you want something like this that tells you like how the individual machines like recipes get added, um, you can head over to the um, Nuclear Craft GitHub. Um, and there's just a craftweaker.txt file here, and that just shows you like the structure of like the commands um, in here. And you can basically just copy and paste these, and then just put in the you know the right the right stuff in here. I need to update this actually because um, there is some slightly different stuff that um, the actual way it works is slightly different to this. So I need to update this file, but the, the general idea is there. Um, one thing I should tell you about is um, at the moment the current version of Nuclear Craft 2.4b, which is the current one at the time of recording. Um, Mind Tweaker actually currently crashes. Um, well, trying to add new recipes currently crashes. Um, that has now been fixed. I'm currently in like a fixed um, a private uh, version. I've just called it like 2.4 fixed version. Um, in 2.4c, I'll get the fix out and people will be able to add your Mind Tweaker recipes. So don't for now try and add your own Mind Tweaker recipes because you will crash. And I'm sorry about that, but I will get that out as soon as I can, probably by tomorrow, and you will be able to add your own Mind Tweaker recipes. Okay, so um, basically it works pretty simply. Um, you basically just go into the script here and you want to add recipes. Um, as I said, like the, the, the actual structure is already here. So if I want to add a new uh, nuclear craft manufacturing recipe, I just um, put mods.nuclearcraft.manufactory.add recipe. That's sort of the structure of the like, beginning bit. You just put mods.nuclearcraft dot the name of the machine, isotope separate, alloy furnace, whatever, and then add recipe. And then you put in your inputs first and then your outputs. And so it helps to know if you're not using this like help file it helps to know like exactly what stuff uh, inputs and outputs um, so for example if you're using the electrolyzer you've got to make sure that you put in one fluid and take out four fluids okay so let's just add a basic recipe um, to ma the manufactory so let's just add um, let's 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 just do something like uh, blaze powder or blaze rod uh, goes to um, goes to three blaze powder. That's like a classic extra blaze powder recipe that you see in mods all the time. So let's just do that. So blaze powder and then times three. Okay, so that hopefully we can save that. And the good the reason I'm in a client rather than a server like I normally am is because um, I can easily just do an empty reload and then uh, I can just reload the recipes and see them in JEI here. So you can see there's the blaze rod to um, blaze powder recipe three. And if I um, get a blaze rod, you will see that that works. There you go. And I should get out three blaze powder. Perfect. So that's pretty useful. Um, one thing I should tell you is that if you do a reload again, then when you go into JEI, you'll see the recipe twice. Um, that's like a little artifact of um, not sort of actually properly reloading the entire game. If you close down like Minecraft, and then reload it again, then you won't have this duplicate recipe. You'll just see it once. It's just because you've reloaded it, and for some reason, MindTweaker doesn't delete the old recipes you had in JEI. So um, don't worry about that. If you remove the recipe by um, by like doing this, so if I just comment this out quickly, and then reload again, um, you'll see that the recipe is in there still. But if I try to put blaze powder in, and blaze rods in, you'll see it doesn't actually go in anymore. Um, so uh, the recipe. The recipes are updating properly, it's just JEI is showing it a bit incorrectly. But as I said, if you close the game like fully and then reload it again, you won't see this anymore. 
So it's just JEI that's not updating correctly, that's all. So don't worry too much about that. Um, if you want to um, change the actual process speed of the um, of the craft, then just add an extra integer on the end. So this is true for all of the processor uh, machines. Um, so this is not including fission or fusion, but if you want to change the speed of the process, then you just put an extra number on the end. Um, so the standard um, speeds you can find in the configs. So if we go in here, um, nuclear craft, if we go into processor configs, the processing times are up here. So the standard manufacturing speed is 400. So that's the speed you just saw there. So that's what, um, so that's what, uh, let's just get something to process uh, diamond. That's what the sort of standard process speed looks like. So if we want to speed this up, say, for whatever reason, then what we can do is we can go in here and add extra numbers. Let's put like 50 in here just to really show that it's a lot quicker. So it should be about eight times quicker than normal. So if we reload these now, reload. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reload, empty reloads, what I wanted to do. Uh, script reloaded. If I put this in here, it should process pretty quickly. And there we go, boom. Um, so that works, that's nice. So if you wanna change the speed, um, I keep opening up the wrong note file. Um, if you want to change the speed, then put an extra number on the end. Um, but if you want it to be the default, then just no number. And that's true for all of the processors, which basically means all of the non-generator machines. Um, so there we go. So that's the manufacturing. Um, I'll just show another example. Why not? Let's do like the infuser. So let's just um, copy and paste uh, an infuser recipe. Let's put this down here. So what should we do here? Let's do, let's do, um, let's just copy this. Uh, infuser, let's infuse some stone um, with some uh, lava. I think it, I think it's liquid lava. I think that should work. Uh, and then let's make it into uh, Minecraft. Uh, what should we turn it into? I don't know. End stone. I don't know. That's just totally random. Um, obsidian. Let's do that. Okay. So that should mean that if you infuse uh, stone with lava, and let's make sure that we actually um, put the right amount. Let's put like, um, let's put uh, 438. Um, there we go. That's an incredibly obscure reference that no one will get. Stop that the ground. What a victory. Um, let's just reload this. Have I, have I saved this? Yes, I have. Let's reload this. Empty reload. We go over to the infuser. We should see now that there's a lava plus uh, 438 millibuckets of lava plus stone recipe to obsidian. So that's working too. Um, fantastic. Um, so that's good. That's good to know that that's working. Um, of course, you can, as I showed, you can do removal recipes. Let's do another example of a, of a removal. So let's, let's remove the electrolyzer recipe. So let's just remove, oh, actually, that's going to take a long time. Let's remove something a bit easier. Let's remove the beryllium recipe. So you can't make beryllium anymore. Actually, at the moment, I can't do that because at the moment, all dictionary, um, all dictionary recipes are not working. That's probably something I should tell you. At the moment, all dictionary uh, recipes are not working, but I'm working on it. That's going to be added in the next patch as well. So don't worry if it doesn't work at the moment, but I will fix that for you. Let's try adding a extra fusion recipe. So this will take a little bit more work, but hopefully we can do it. So we've got all the standard fusion recipes here that use all the standard nuclear craft stuff. But let's say you want to just mix up a bit. Uh, you know, you might have a mod that adds some extra gases and stuff. So let's add, um, let's add a fusion recipe down here. Uh, so let's, okay, so fluid input one, let's go liquid lava again, liquid lava, uh, liquid lava times, let's do 50, liquid water times 80, uh, and that will go to, uh, let's say that goes to hydrogen, deuterium, tritium, Ooh. finally uh, oxygen. So say you had some extra stuff that you wanted to add to the game, extra recipes that you wanted to add from some weird, weird stuff. Oh, another thing you need to add on the end of this, otherwise it will not work. Um, you need to add your, um, first of all, you need to add your, let me check in here again. Again, this is what I was talking about. The documentary is not quite, the documentary, the documentation is not quite up to scratch. So we need the fuel time, the power and the heat variable. Okay, so um, I guess it doesn't actually matter what it is, but let's just put some random numbers in. Fuel time, power, and heat variable, whatever. Something like that. We're not actually going to do it. We're just going to show that it, it, it exists in the JEI recipe categories. Okay, so let's do an empty reload. Oh, the super cool. Don't worry about that. That's just something I was testing earlier. 
Um, so you can see here, lava and water, 50 million buckets of lava, 80 million buckets of water, goes to all this random random stuff here. So even the fusion reactor works, but be keep in mind that y it will not work if you tried, if you don't put in those three values at the end. So you need the, the fuel time, the amount of it lasts, um, the amount of power that it produces, and the heat variable. And if you want some reference sort of numbers to that, um, again, go into the configs, and you will find them here. Um, so if you go into fusion configs, you'll find the um, the, the durations, the power gen, and the heat variables. So for example, the hydrogen hydrogen reaction has a duration of 100, power gen 640, and heat variable 2000. So that's just something to go off um, if you need a little bit of help there. Um, I think, uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, the only things that do doesn't work at the moment is in the latest version of the mod. Um, the um, It's a bit broken, so I'll get that fixed. Um, the ore dictionary still in my patched version isn't working, so I need to fix that. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, I need to also uh, add um, more documentation because at the moment it's a little bit, it doesn't really explain exactly what to do properly yet. So except for that, hopefully you've got a good idea of how the uh, craft tweaker support works. Um, it should be pretty simple once you've got these, um, you know, these structures, you just plop the, the, you know, the recipes into these slots and you should get your recipes in no time. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, ask in the comments. Um, and I guess I will see you in the next video. See you then.